Are we good? All right. <clears throat> good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Midday with Trey, your weekly afternoon break. I'm your host, Trey. Let's get right into the show. All right, it is that time again, time for this week's How of the Week. Before I say How of the Week, you may be wondering why I'm wearing the same outfit. Well, one, I wear the same jacket every episode, and two, uh, we're filming this back-to-back -back with the last episode you saw last week, the Halloween edition, because we just want to crank it out for you guys. That's how dedicated we are. Anyway, back to this How of the Week. As I said in last episode, I, to this episode's theme is going to be all about my Atlanta trip that I took well, oh, by this time, it'll be two, about two, two and a half weeks ago. So like I said, I went to the Morehouse and Spelman College homecoming. And so the hat I got for this week is a Morehouse hat. And they, this is the all-male college there, and Spelman is an all-female college. But as you can see, I'm repping the Morehouse College. Um, we're not in rival with Coastal. You know, we're just we're trying to build partnerships. That's why we went in the, in the first place. So I can, I can proudly wear this hat and say that Morehouse did treat me well. All right, let's get right into the trip. So, day one. Welcome to Atlanta, Day one was more of a travel day, so we drove there, but as we were driving there, we actually stopped at Bucky's. Now, if you don't know what Bucky's is, Bucky's is this weird phenomenon that we have in this, uh, it's not even just in the South, weird phenomenon that we have in the United States. Um, I believe it's in Texas, Georgia, um, in South Carolina, I'm sure it's in other places as well. But if you don't know about it, it's this huge structure, mythical place. It's almost like a Sam's Club mixed with a Walmart mixed with a gas station because it has gas. And it also, it's like a restaurant. And so in there, they have pretty much all the snacks you can think about. They have these things called <laughs> Bucky Balls. And they are, I don't know, they're like, they're, I don't know how to describe them. The only, th the only thing I remember from the packages is that they're made with genetically modified starch. I don't like how that sounds, but they're actually pretty tasty. So if you if you get around to Bucky's, try those out. But the, the what I love from Bucky's, and I've only been there twice, but what I love from there is the brisket sandwich. They have a chopped brisket sandwich, and ooh, it is slap your mama good. I promise you, if you ever go to Bucky's, please check it out. Uh, tell them Trey from Midday with Trey sent you, and they'll give you a discount. So after we stopped the Bucky's, we made it to Atlanta. It's about a six-hour drive from uh, Myrtle Beach to Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and, and we got there around eight or so, and we, tr we, you know, we dropped our stuff off, and we went to this place called JR Crickets. If you live in Atlanta, apparently it's a staple. There's about six of them on one corner, so it, I guess it, it must be a staple. But you probably know about it if you're from Atlanta. But there, we, they had we had wings, and those wings were so good. Um, so I was really gonna get barbecue wings, but they had this this they, they called it the Dirty Bird Special. I guess the Falcons are known as the Dirty Birds. They had a Dirty Bird Special, so I gave it a try, and apparently it was barbecue mixed with lemon pepper and Mm, those things were good. It gave me a little heartburn because it was like 9 or 10 o'clock at night, but they were so worth it. So that was day one of, of, of my trip in Atlanta. Let's move on to day two. Welcome to Atlanta, baby. All right, on day two, uh, to, on this day, we woke up pretty early. We had to tour the campuses. Um, like I said in the last episode, the AUC is a conglomerate of a bunch of HBCU colleges, um, all in one. They share some facilities, such as the libraries and some of the uh, spaces, uh, such as like the, some of the cafeterias and the eating places as well. But they're all like in the same area, per se. And so we toured them. Um, so we toured Clark, we toured Spelman, and we toured Morehouse. Uh, Spelman is the all-female college, Morehouse is the all-male college, and Clark is an uh, uh, all-gender uh, college as well. So after that, we stopped at um, the cafeteria and we had Fried Chicken Wednesdays. Now, if you are at Coastal, you know that we have Fried Chicken Fridays, and so they had Fried Chicken Wednesdays, and so that was pretty interesting. It was funny enough that both of the food services are both our mark or Airmark, I'm not sure, sorry, Airmark representative, I don't know how to pronounce it, but they're both the same food providers that we have at Coastal, so it was weird, it was almost like the same, it was almost like the same food, just with a little bit more, and don't take offense to this, Coastal, but a little more seasoning. You need to leave. You know, just, just a little bit more seasoning, and so it was, it was cool to see that, but it, was, it seemed like the same type of chicken, honestly, but I mean, how many chickens can you have? <laughs> There's only a certain amount of chickens, but it was cool to see that, they had the pod market, just like we have at Coastal, so, you know, different state, same food, so that was cool. Also on day two, we did a hip hop fashion workshop where we uh, deconstructed clothing and we basically constructed them into um, new clothing. So for me, I started a hat, I started a beanie, um, and I'm, I'm not creatively gifted with 
crafts. Um, I like doing stuff with cameras and whatnot, but I'm just, I'm just not creatively gifted with crafts. So I started the hat, and then he said I would have to cut the leather and try and sew it. And you know, by the time it was over, I really had only got my stencil barely drawn. And let's just say it didn't work out. I still have the hat, but it's just a plain beanie from Goodwill, so it doesn't really have the same spark as some of the other people's creations. But people made some cool stuff. Some, one of the students made a corset. Some other students made um, bandanas. So people did really good, just, just not me. Um, but after that, and this is the part where I'm, I'm, I'm kicking myself. So there was a concert um, with 21 Savage. Um, that's who was sponsoring the concert. That's who was is going on it um, at, at, at Morehouse and Spelman for their homecoming. And I said, I'm not the biggest 21 Savage fan. I really don't want to pay $50, so I didn't go to the concert. That was my first mistake. When I tell you, I looked on people's Snapchats, and I see Drake. Drake. Drake? Drizzy. Champagne Poppy Drake on, at Morehouse, not even 20 feet or probably not even five minutes from where I am, my current location was then, and I could have went to the concert. I, I don't know. I mean, what can you do now? But I could have saw Drake for a fraction of the cost that it would have cost. But you live and you learn, and I don't know. Let's just move on to day three before I start crying. Welcome to Atlanta, All right, on day three, we started the day off by having some good gourmet breakfast at the hotel. Uh, I'm talking waffles, straight from the waffle iron. I'm talking day-old oatmeal, and I'm talking uh, non-turkey product sausage, is because I don't eat, I don't eat pork, so I couldn't have the sausages. But the eggs, they're a little runny. But anyway, we started the day off by going to this huge abandoned stadium that I believe uh, used to be owned by either Clark or one of the other HBCUs there. And this was amazing. Just check, this, just check some of these pictures out. They, it was so amazing. Just like it was tagged with just all these different graffiti markings. Um, it was almost like surreal. It was almost, it was like a movie because I would have never known it was there. It was like in the middle of, um, middle of like the south. Never eat soggy. In the middle of the southwest part of uh, Atlanta, and it was just crazy to see. Like I don't know where. Like you know, we climbed, We had to, we had to go through a little fence, but that's okay. You know, adventure. Adventure has no admission. Um, we had to climb through this fence, and then we once we got it, it was like an open field, like a whole, like almost like an NFL sized football stadium. And it was just crazy to see. Like you seeing the pic, you're seeing the pictures, and like there was, it was so colorful. We got to the top, had a beautiful view of the skyline. It was, it was just, it was just amazing. It was really, it was really, really amazing. After that, we went to a stroll off, which is um, strolling here at Coastal is something that you know the uh, black fraternities and sororities do. But there at an HB, HBCU, they had actual stroll teams that you didn't have to be a part of these, so a, a part of them for. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so we saw them. Uh, we saw them stroll. I can't remember if, if there was a winner or whatnot. It was a lot of energy. It was very loud, but it, it was actually cool. And finally, to end day three. Yep, day three. And finally, to end day three, we went to the fashion show. Um, and I got some great pictures of this. Check these out. These are my, this was my, my my fashion show debut. I was taking pictures. I actually snuck up to like where all the other photographers were just to see if I could. Nobody said anything because you know if you have a camera, most times people really don't say anything to you if you look like you're actually doing something that you should be doing. So I, I was there at the, actually the end of the runway, so I had a great view. Um, and so I got to take some really awesome pictures of, of the models. And their fashion is crazy. Sometimes I was like, I can never pull this off, but you got it. <laughs> uh, let's move on to day four. We're wrapping it up. Uh, it's, only, it's, it's, five, it's a five day trip. So day four was, w w was pretty interesting. Let's, let's, let's move on. Welcome to Atlanta, So on day four, we start the morning off by facilitating a hip hop uh, jewelry workshop this time. This time, this was at the all-male college, which is Morehouse. The other workshop was at Spelman All-Female College. Um, but these, these things, these uh, colleges can intermingle, so it wasn't just male or female at one time. But this jewelry maker workshop was uh, the same premise as the last workshop. So we took, we, you know, we deconstructed jewelry, and we actually put it back together in different ways. Now for this one, I had fun because I, now I didn't make it here, I didn't make it at that session, but a different session that I had at Coastal before, I made this, I deconstructed a watch, put the clasp of the watch on the back of the necklace, put the face of the watch on the front of the necklace, so if you wanna take it off, you see, see where I'm going with this? When you wanna take it off, you just gotta unclasp it, take it off, and so that was pretty cool. But for this workshop, again, it, my creativity just didn't work out, so I just started picking up the camera and, and capturing other people's memories for them free of charge, of course. After the workshop, we ate some great, great, great soul food from a restaurant there called Paschal's. Um, and this seemed to be like a historically 
a uh, historic restaurant in that area. There's a whole, there was a whole like history lesson on the, um, the wall, but I was too busy eating, if I'm being honest. I was too busy eating to even read. But um, I had fried chicken, collard greens, cornbread, macaroni and cheese. Um, and I didn't get peach cobbler. I wish I would have, but I was just too full. So I didn't even have room for it, but it, it was good. So if you're ever in Atlanta, check out Pastels in the, uh, over by the, uh, the colleges, because that was, that was so good. That was so good. After that, we checked out Jazz at the Museum, which was a jazz event at the museum. It was after hours, so the museum was closed. And I, was, I felt like I was a billionaire for a night, if I'm being honest. I felt like I was the richest man in the world because there was just a bunch of classy dressed people. There was some, you know, cocktails going around. There was some, it just, I don't know, it just, it just, it just felt fancy to me. It was in a museum. Nobody was there. Well, people were there, but like it was after hours. It was closed. It was, only, it was a ticketed only event. We got tickets. So that was really cool. We got to, some of the some of the jazz performances were crazy. And the artwork there too was was just amazing. So I'm glad I got to see that. I don't even really like art, but that that stuff was cool just because you can see it, hear the jazz. It's just a whole vibe. It's a very it's a very cool vibe. Let's move on to day five, which is the final day of the trip. Welcome to Atlanta, baby. So on day five, today was the game in tailgate. So for the tailgate, we went there. It was over, apparently it was over 40,000 people at the tailgate, which I don't know what 40,000 people looks like, but it surely looked like it was actually 40,000 people there. People had their tents set up. There's food everywhere. People were just, just enjoying their air. Uh, they actually had, if you know who this is, I didn't even know who this was um, until I read up on them. And I was like, oh, I know who he is. They had Jermaine Dupri DJing out there. It was sponsored by Bumble, the dating app. It's also sponsored by Pandora and Amazon Music, which are huge names. Kerry Washington was also out there and just a couple of people that either went to the college or just support the college. It's during a political campaign, so you know people out there politicking. They're giving out free food, so I'm not, you know, I, don't, I can't vote in the state of Georgia, but I can get their free food and pass the shirt on to somebody else who can vote in the state of Georgia. But we appreciated the free food and I, I did spread the word. Um, not bribery, of course. <clears throat> So the football game, the team, Morehouse, ended up losing 35-0. to zero. Um, I, Like I said, I don't know anything about their football team. It seemed like it was a tough loss. Uh, we left before the ending. Um, and finally, you know, coming back from the trip, um, I, uh, the Atlanta, the, honestly, the Atlanta air got me sick. I don't know what it was, but I came back on Sunday, and my throat, my sinuses, everything was just inflared. They were running. They were stopped up all at the same time. And I don't know what it was, but I think it was those Dirty Bird wings at the beginning of my trip because anything with the name of Dirty Bird has to get you sick, apparently. I don't know. It was crazy. But I enjoyed my trip. And so thank you to the Edwards College and the Joyner Institute for tagging me along on that trip. And I hope to go on more trips like this so I can report to you guys. It's time for your weekly update. First, starting on Friday, November 4th and running through Sunday, November 13th, the Department of Theater presents You're in Town, the musical. This Tony Award winning production is a satire comedy that blasts the legal system, capitalism, populism, and politics. Next, on Tuesday, November 8th, starting at 7.30 p.m., the Department of Music presents the CCU Percussion Ensemble Fall Concert. Finally, on Wednesday, November 9th, starting at 4 p.m., the Department of History continues its Peace and Conflict Lecture and Film Series with the lecture, The Buried Muir, Past and Present Indian Resistance in the Americas. A lot of good events are coming up, so if you want to stay up to date, make sure you follow the Edwards College social media pages down below, as always, um, so you can stay up to date with all things Edwards, so you won't miss anything. You know, we post there pretty much every day of the week, so, you know, you never know what you might find on there, so make sure you follow all of our pages. All right, that wraps up this week's episode of Midday with Trey. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you turn in to next week's show. Same time, same place. Bye.